KCTK Radio proudly presents the Week Review. Hey, you know what, guys? This right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made before observations, this could be a podcast. Huh, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is it happening? Are we doing it now? Awesome. You're the reason that we do what we do. Music and talk, it's all for you. Now the guys who are lots of fun for making you laugh, they're number one. They review the week just for you. So get ready for Paul and Drew. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack all up in your face. Join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. Welcome to, K- Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. Starting Jack is all up in your face. Who called me a bastard last time I talked to him. <laughs> I'm Paul. That's Drew. Jack's not here. This is a show where we talk about things from last week and the things that may happen next week. And yes, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's very weak. You can uh, join the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We welcome your participation. We also want to let you know we're the other show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. We broadcast live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. You can listen to us online at kctkradio.com. Or you can watch us on Facebook Live on our page. But it's easier to use KCTK Radio's smartphone app. If you don't have it, download it right now. It's free. Yay. Also, you can watch all the past adventures on YouTube at the KCTK Radio channel whenever you want. But that's not all. The program is offered as a podcast on iTunes. I guess it's called Apple Podcasts now. Have that removed, okay? Google Play, Spotify, SoundCloud, Podbean, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Himalaya, Pandora, Overcast, Stitcher, Instagram. Even have Alexa by saying, Hey Alexa, play KCTK Radio on Apple Podcast," Or anywhere you get your favorite podcast. Welcome to the program. This is a big, big program. This is our Halloween program and we're very excited about it. Yeah, and so there's nothing else going on in the world um, that anyone is talking about except Halloween's coming up. And that's what we're going to focus on. There's no other thing that, to focus on, uh, illness or government things to bring up and to upset me. We're just going to talk about Halloween because that's what pe- people care about. Yeah. You know what they also care about? They care about the man of the hour, the guy who makes it all happen. Here he is, the Droosh. Hey, what's, Drew. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Droosh, a.k.a. Jacques Luck, a.k.a. Beryl. Jacques Lock Barrel. It's off of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, oh, it's a Halloween thing. Yeah, it's a Halloween thing. Lock, Stock, and Barrel? Lock, Jacques, and, and Barrel. Barrel. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's All three right. little characters that kidnap Santa. Is that a good movie? It's a great It's a animation. great movie. It's probably a considered an absolute classic. Wow, I've never seen it before. Is that Christmas? Movie or is it Halloween? It's a Halloween. Movie? Okay, so there's different worlds. There's a Halloween town, mm-hmm. and then there's Christmas land. Mm-hmm. And if you travel through these certain holiday trees, you come out into Christmas land okay. from Halloween town. So he ends up kidnapping Santa so he can hijack Christmas because he's tired of Halloween. And that's uh, Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King. And who plays that role? Uh, Eric Elfman. I want to say. Oh, someone like that, huh? Mm. Uh, he's a singer. It's a musical as well. Really, and it's amazing. You recommend it? Uh, yeah. I need to watch it this week before, um, Halloween. I guess right. <laughs> I already know how this conversation is going to go next Thursday, so I can't wait for it. I'm not going to jinx it. What? Because anytime I ever say watching animation or whatever, you'll think it's fucking stupid. Now I don't think I'll end up watching it. <laughs> Tim Burton directed it. But if if I'm going to watch it, i got to do it before Saturday, yeah, right? Right. Every year, that's why we rent from Blockbuster. Blockbuster's not around anymore, dude. Did no, you know it's that? dead. Oh. Yeah. So how are you going to watch it? Uh, it's on uh, 
Disney Plus. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have and a, I I I have a sign on to that. I also own it. So. Huh. Yeah. Lock, Jock, and Barrel. Yeah. It's called All Nightmare right. Before Christmas. Those are just two, three characters. Well, congratulations, Drew. They're Halloween Town's favorite trick or treaters. Wow. Yeah. Now, Halloween Town is the one that. That's on. Is a that's, big one. that's also on Disney. My yeah. daughter used to watch that, and then it, it was always yeah. stupid. It was very stupid, but it was fun. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to Halloween Town? My daughter Madeline is doing this thing. I guess maybe COVID makes you do it. Every so often, she gets with her friends, uh-huh. and they watch an old Disney Disney Classic? Channel show. Oh, okay. So one was called The Sleepover. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. And then they watched, her and her friends watched um, Stepsister from Planet Weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that one. I also remember one that was insanely stupid. Uh, real genius, not real genius, uh, the, he was, the kid was a genius and it was hockey and it was so dumb. Yeah. There was a whole bunch of them like that. And uh, we should get her on to describe, because yeah, she'll should- describe, she described the, the uh, what's it called uh, sleepover one to us and yeah. it was so hilarious yeah. her telling about it. so me and my wife actually watched it that <laughs> night uh, Isn't that embarrassing? She, I remember we all watched the one with the cook off one <laughs> it was ridiculously yes. dumb he, he wants to cook but he also plays baseball and his dad sexist and thinks that his <laughs> son shouldn't be a cook <laughs> yeah once you man up and play baseball like a real boy Okay, so we'll, we'll have the Madeline come on and do that special feature. That one, that one was just so, just so. They all stupid. were dumb. They were all really stupid. dumb. Now, uh, I will say one that used to freak me, and my sister out, just because the makeup was amazing. Don't look under the bed. The bo- the boogeyman of that is oh. some free- that's some freaky makeup. Like it was like wow. All huh. right, don't look under the bed. <laughs> What is uh? What what's your plans for Halloween? Uh, so I'm getting together with my sisters and my mom mm-hmm. and their families and Quinn's. So how many kids is that? That's uh, seven. Seven kids. Wow. Seven kids. No, eight. That's a lot and the of kids. oldest is eight years old, right? Uh, yeah, he'll be nine. He's yeah. nine actually. Okay. Yeah. That's They're, crazy. The the two oldest are nine. Okay. Yeah, Ellie and Katie. Yeah, and the youngest is Quinn. Youngest is Quinn, and you guys have a party or you no? We're gonna we're gonna trick or treat around Le- Lenexa's Joko neighborhood. Okay, the rich that's the rich good. part. Yeah, that's good. Get, that's where you get the big candy bars, yeah. and uh, then we're gonna have pizza. That should be fun. It should be very fun. Yeah, my mom is gonna be able to come out of isolation. Oh yeah. well, quarantine. Yeah, she's <laughs> she she needed a time alone. Yeah. Um, what um. What will Quinn be dressed up as? A aerobics instructor. An With aerobics leg, instructor? Leg warmers and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being for real. How'd you come up with that one? My wife. Is she So she's an aerobics instructor, not just an aerobics girl, right? No, she's an aerobics instructor. She's going to have the full ensemble with the, the over-the-shoulder sweatshirt. We like from the 80s? Like the 80s. Okay. She'll have a sweatband, leg warmer. She already got tennis shoes. Very neon. She looks adorable. Okay. Now the oh, She's already worn. That was yeah, we've be my tried question. it on. She looks fantastic. Because last year you put a thing on and she just cried and cried and cried. Yeah, that was the lamb. She was a lamb last year. So what is she, how does she do with the aerobics thing? Uh, She doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the sweater, though. Okay, but aerobics clothes could be normal clothes. She may maybe get the thing out of her hair and she could run around. Right. I mean, she's in a little leotard. She looks great. Yeah. She looks so cute. Yeah. Of course. Of, duh. Of course. Now, are you gonna make her wear a coat when she goes outside? Yes. <laughs> God. You had to deal with that. I remember my cousins not liking wearing a coat over their Halloween costumes. Why? I, I guess I, I. You know what? I didn't do that to my kids. Oh, you did? Because my mother did that to me every year. I had the absolute best Superman costume. Yeah. But it's cold as I wear a coat. Yeah. I'm like, Superman doesn't wear a coat. And I got mad about it. It's traumatized my older brother, who always was Batman. Oh, yeah. He's still mad about it. Don't bring <laughs> it up in front of him. He's angry. I'm going to bring it up. Okay. I want to see him. Have a, He's angry about have it. This yeah. I mean, I'll give you this. I remember one year I wore... Um, 
Power Rangers. Yeah. I was a Red Ranger, mm -hmm. and I had to wear a coat over my over my getup. Oh no. And I'm like, the yeah, hell. Power Rangers. But the thing was, is like my warm. parents would let me take it off, right? So I'd uh -huh. walk around, and eventually I'd just get cold. Yeah. So I'd have to put it back on. Now, when you were my dad pretty much proved his point. Now, when you were um, growing up, I remember that you were like a Ninja Turtle, like, I don't know, 16 times. Uh, Ninja Turtle, Power <laughs> Ranger. I was Batman a couple years. Uh-huh. Um, Scream. Okay. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> I was I was the, what was his face? Uh, I don't remember. His melting Mo face. Yeah, melting yeah. face, moon face, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I was him one year. Um, <laughs> Who are you? I'm Scream. <laughs> I'm Scream. <laughs> Uh, the Grim Reaper. I was a Grim okay. Reaper one year. You were a troubled kid. Got weren't you? darker and darker now that I think about it. Oh, it was a vampire. My mom made me that costume, and that was great. Also, the Batman See, one. You had some real dark times. <laughs> I was either Superman or a hobo. You were a hobo? Yeah, because. Did you blacken in one of your teeth? No, I just <laughs> wore, like, dirty clothes or something like that. <laughs> so out of the hamper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> out of the hamper and yeah. so cuz they didn't want to put a lot of thought into it. What about a tweed jacket? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. You had a tweed jacket. All hobos had tweed jackets. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I feel the need, the need for tweed. And then of course I had one of those things that, you know you get your her, Oh kerchief, yeah, the yeah. kerchief and you put your stuff in it You're, and then you carry it with you. <laughs> Did you do that with your candy? Oh, how, look at me. I'm Huckleberry Finn and I'm a hobo. How stupid. How stupid were those hobos carrying their stuff like that? I don't know. I mean, the cartoons make it seem like it's a good idea, but yeah. I tried it as a kid. Uh -huh. It's very hard to yes. tie to a stick. Ho Can we agree <laughs> the hobos are stupid? <laughs> well, they are on drugs, now that we yeah. know, and alcohol. So. That is true. <laughs> so, I know it was like this when I was a kid. I don't know if it was you. There was a, there was a ch time when there was, oh, wow, he's a lovable hobo. <laughs> no, he's a drunk. Yeah. Uh, now, hobos, there's a distinction. Okay. Hobos <laughs> ride trains. Yes. Okay. I was a train ride hobo when I when I when I, uh, when I dressed up. Oh man. I wasn't I wasn't one of these ho modern day hobos that go to the plasma thing, get forty bucks, and and walk through the neighborhood and steal stuff out of your car. <laughs> <laughs> Those are different type of hobos. Good lord. Yeah. I don't even know if you'd have the energy after giving up some plasma. Yeah. Just to go rob cars. I would love to know this. If anyone's listening to us and you want to give us a call nine one three seven three five. Zero zero six zero. Do homeless people have to be called hobos now? <laughs> probably not. It's probably not a feeling of endearment. I'm sure. I think we should try to bring it back. I mean, we could try. Lovable hobo. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. He ain't got no house. Yeah. <laughs> he's lovable. But he's gonna. He's living life to the fullest. <laughs> Look at him. Jumping That's on the just rest. Jack the hobo. The hobo. <laughs> And he's like, well, that's me. <laughs> yeah, lovable hobo. With his whiskey in a jar. <laughs> right. <laughs> his corn whiskey. <laughs> and also he had a Puts jug. Puts it like this. But he had a jug. And the and you didn't know what was in the jug, but when it was alcohol, he put X, X, X on yeah. it. Yeah, it's uh -huh. called poison. So yeah. um, Poppy has one of those. My grandfather, <laughs> he's got one of those jar Those. Uh, what are they called? I call. I always call them hobo jar. <laughs> hobo. I'm gonna hobo, call. It, I'm just gonna call it the hobo jar. Hobo, corn whiskey jar. Triple X. Right. There's nothing else that can go in there. Oh. Oh, we got a call. This is gonna be because maybe someone who knows about hobos. Tell us. Hey, you're on the week review, caller. How are you? Who's this? Doing fine. Thanks for the invitation to call you. Hey, look, it's uh, it's <laughs> caller number six. Hey. How are you, sir? Hello, guys. Hello? What's going on? Hello? Yeah. I said, hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's going okay. great. Do you know anything about hobos? That's our, our topic tonight. I heard you talk about hobos, hobos. and I, I'm i going to say, go ahead and say it as much as you can, because if you say that word in the library, uh -huh. they all look at you like you're being mean. Uh, it's no longer politically correct to say hobo, but you know what I'm going to say? Hobo, 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 hobo. Well, here's the thing. It's like saying bomb on an airplane. Here, here's the thing, and I'm not going to say what the word is, but I think you guys know what it is. It's a bad word that a segment of our society doesn't like. But also, if you're listening to hip-hop music, it's used a lot by them. So okay? is, that, is that kind of the classification? So my it? point is, homeless people, let's take the word hobo back. Yeah, let's take it. Let's make that R word. <laughs> I'm fading out. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I'm you okay? On you guys. Do you want some corn whiskey? <laughs> nope. I, I, you're fading out on me. I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, okay. Well, we're not saying too much. Hey, uh, okay. can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay. Here's have the question you, for you. Looked at, have you guys looked at Hubie Halloween? Hubie Halloween. What's that? Oh, yeah, Something with uh, Adam Sandler. Sandler. Yeah. Is it good? I haven't watched it. It's kind of, it's kind of good, yeah. I've given up on Adam Sandler. Hey, can you give oh, us no. Can you I give shouldn't. us a little response of the crazy World Series that happened? I know you've been covering that. Oh, man, that was an incredible game. Thursday's game was incredible. I sit there waiting for the Dodgers to win, and then Brett. Saber um, Hagen. Phillips. Oh. Hits a winning hits the home run and they win off of two errors, mm-hmm. and so that's why they had to play. No, it was Wednesday last Wednesday, and that's why they had to. No, it was actually Thursday, mm-hmm. and then they played Saturday and Sunday, and oh. then they played Monday. Okay, let me ask you about the Monday game. Mm-hmm. Should should that manager have pulled that guy out? No, I wouldn't. But again. Here's the problem with baseball now. Mm-hmm. People doing the analytics mm-hmm. and not going by gut feeling. Mm-hmm. Gut feeling, he said he should keep him in. Statistically, they said, kick him out. Yeah. So he didn't go with his gut. Where a time where the Dodgers manager said, I got to go with my gut. And he made a right decision. So, What team were you rooting for? Dodgers, man. Dodgers. Okay, good. Good. The Dodgers and the Lakers won this year? They're the city of champions, yeah. and the Rams will win, too. No, we oh. hope not. No, we don't want that. Okay. Good. All right. Well, uh, stay tuned. We're talking about Halloween, and the and the Y dude will be here, too. Yes, excellent. That's your favorite feature, isn't it? It is kind of my favorite feature. I have, I have some steak in it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for calling. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> so that's the latest on hobos, and um, this isn't a surprise. A lot of times when I say this, people are like, that's kind of rude, but this is the truth. Nobody cares about hobos. <laughs> okay? Sadly. No one does. forgotten. But they do care about the news of the Drush. Take it away, Drew. So, I found a news story that there's something you don't know about me. Okay. I have a painting that I absolutely hate. A painting? A painting. Okay. Now, this painting is considered to many people out there to be some sort of masterpiece and that it should be depicted in every movie if they ever go to museum uh music videos used in certain ways to show its importance when really it's not important okay um and i learned more about it in college and i developed my opinion about it Okay. And they've decided to do a new story because researchers decide that we're going to keep looking at this painting like it's a master work, but it's not. The Mona Lisa, mm. to me, is the worst thing Da Vinci's ever done, personally, because he's done other stuff that uh, eclipses it. And... For them to think that this is his master work is ridiculous. I saw some documentary that said it was because of it being in the Louvre. Yes. It, and it's a painting. I will it, give it, it. It came up It came up like the legend that it was so great. Right. And more I'll, than it really is. I'll give it that we were able to save it in World War II. Okay. Along Maybe that's with, what it is. with other paintings and works and sculptures yeah. and stuff like that. Thankfully... That wasn't destroyed in World War II. Like, the statue of Nike is so fragile that it took at least 10 guys just to get it on a truck Mm -hmm. and then keep it intact. So whenever Hitler did come in and start going and picking through the Louvre paintings, because some of them he burned. Yeah. He didn't keep keep them. Hey, hot take, and I don't mean to disrupt your story, but... As far as I'm concerned, I don't think that Hitler was a good person. No, and he was That's a terrible, me. terrible That's artist. Oh, oh, terrible artist. Oh no, a frustrated artist. Go yeah. on, Drew. He, yes, he couldn't get into art school. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people make jokes and think that's where his turning point was. I don't know where his turning point was. Mm-hmm. Probably World War One. But um, anyway, they have found another drawing behind it, and it's it's a way of stenciling. Ooh. So 
it's a charcoal drawing. I don't know why this feels the need to be, you know, broadcasted mm -hmm. that there's a charcoal drawing behind a painting. Okay. Now, let me give you a little backstory of the Mona Lisa that probably not, you probably don't know. Okay. In college, I took an art history class and I thought that she was brilliant. She had so much knowledge about painting. The Mona the, Lisa did? No, no my teacher that, okay. that taught this class. Okay. So she taught us, she showed, she explained to us the reason why, and she agreed with me about the Mona Lisa. Okay. I uh, I've hated it for years before this class. So I thought it was stupid. What's the, who cares if she didn't smile? Who gives mm -hmm. a shit? It's a, it's a fisherman's wife. Okay. Da Vinci would carry this painting on him while on horseback and every once in a while would paint it. He was terrible about finishing his, his works mm -hmm. because he, he was had such a vast mind that he would always be thinking about something else. Yeah. And yeah. Something would come to him and then he just cast that aside and do that. And uh, most of the time, whenever he was painting this, it was just mostly for, you know, free time and to get some cash. So there's really no importance of the painting. There's no Da Vinci code behind it. There's anything like that. It's overused canvas, clearly. Maybe he drew something else and then decided to use it to paint on it. I don't know. I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. But all I know is, is that does it really matter that this chick on a piece of canvas we should care about? Well, enough to have stories after stories, like every 20 years, there's something new but about the fucking painting. If you're going to say that, then you you can say that about anything, can't you? True. How is, the, how is the Statue of David? It was a big deal. It's just a thing. Statue of David was considered a feat okay. of marble. I mean, it's made of marble and the size. Well, any, I mean, that, that was like his master well, look work at today's, next to the Sistine Chapel. Look at, look at the art that comes out today, like the Disney movie... Um, about the baseball kid. <laughs> See? I mean, I guess you couldn't... I don't know. I guess some people would consider that art and some people wouldn't. Yeah. So I'm giving my opinion. If okay. you think it's a great painting, so what, that's what is a, what is What's the news story? Is this, there's another... There's another drawing on behind it. Huh. I wonder what it... Did they show what it looked no, like? No, they, can, they can't figure out what it is, but they know that there's a charcoal drawing behind it. Have you heard this theory, which I think is really interesting? What's that? That the picture... The Mona Lisa is Da Vinci. I have heard that theory. Yeah. He's, he's in drag, or he took his face and then drew women's clothing on it, or it's something possible. like that. I mean, he did have a photographic memory. Yeah. I'll give him that. So maybe, maybe so, he was just like, oh, I'll just add this. I'm so don't sure. you think he was just also a weird artist? Because all artists are weird. I'm very weird. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm, I'm a very weird guy. That. I'll admit that I'm weird. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I do a lot of weird things, uh -huh. and my wife is probably like, what? Okay, so what do you think is the greatest painting? I think Sistine Chapel is probably, yeah. my, probably of one his? of my favorites. No, I this mean, is Michelangelo. That's Michael. Oh, Da Vinci? Yeah. No, I know. Just if anything. Oh, Which, like, I, I think his creations. If you could own any portrait, not portrait, but a painting, I guess, what would it be? Does it have to be a painting? No, I just say work of art. We'll give you uh, that. I would love to have some of his drawings of uh, helicopters, submarines. Oh yeah, yeah, and glider. Batman. I mean, yeah. And the Batman with the. I wings. have I have the Bob Kane one that he stole from another artist. Yeah. Because he was known for that, which is a shame because he was like my hero for years, yeah. and then I realized he was an asshole. Gary Finger is who you like now. His name is. Uh, I don't Bill think Finger. It's Bill Finger. Yeah. But you <laughs> you threw me off with Gary. I was like, wait. So you think. <laughs> See, I think Van Gogh is really good. Yeah. And a lot of people think he cut his ear off because he was crazy. And he may have done that. He, he did cut his ear off. But, I mean, it was a gesture of love, I guess. He was not all there. And here's how, um, I guess the word they say is pedestrian I am about art because I don't know much about it, is I think Starry Night is the best. I think it's great. I, I think still, it's a I really, like the really one, neat one. My favorite one's the one where they added Starry Night and then Batman. Really? Yeah. It makes they make Starry Night and then Batman's like overlooking it and the bat symbols in the the moon. I'd like to see that. Sometime. I'll find it. I'll I have find to look it. it up. <clears throat> I think I have a poster of it. Well, maybe I should start to appreciate um, that more. You want me to make you some? Yeah, make me some art. Okay. I appreciate it. I've been watching this painter on YouTube, and he's probably the best painter I've ever seen in my life. 
Um, it's like it's like an Eric Clapton moment when he sees Jimi Hendrix. I'm like, I could never paint like that. <laughs> well, you got your story. That's a good story. It goes to your expertise, and um, which I think is good because I don't have folks, much. Folks, we have expertise sometimes, you know, <clears throat> and sometimes we don't. So, but tonight in the special Halloween version of our show. You're getting expertise from Drew's story, but you're also, if I can find it here, you're going to get expertise, what I know about. Now, keep in mind, Drew, I do still want your opinion, okay? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Here is the official candy power ranking for Halloween. Fantastic. All right. We're going to go... You we'll know just, how much I love... I got candy right here in front of yeah, me. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do the... Here, okay, let's let's have a game out of it. I want you to write down what you think is the number one. And don't show it to me yet. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. This, this is difficult. from the Los Angeles... Los Angeles Times. Mm. You know what? We're going to go through all ten. We're going to go through ten of them. Okay? Okay. And... Tell me if you, I guess as we go through here, you can say, hey, I don't think I should be on there, or maybe it should, maybe it shouldn't be, okay? Okay. So, number 10, Skittles. All right. Skittles. I agree. I like Skittles. I like Skittles. That's pretty good. Yeah. Taste the rainbow. Who it's doesn't delicious. Like, who doesn't like tasting the rainbow? Some people don't. Yeah. Okay, the next one is, is a little questionable. Tootsie Pop? Tootsie Pop. You know, I'm not a big fan of Tootsie Pops. Yeah, me neither. I'm really not. Because usually you would have, like, a cherry. Yeah. And then chocolate inside. It, yeah. To me, it kind of was weird. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of Tootsie Pops. Yeah. Not a fan. How about uh, Blow Pops? Did you ever get those? I love I like Blow those Pop. better. Blow Pops kicked ass. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is shocking to me because this is the one I would have put number one. But this comes in at number eight. Okay. Snickers. Really? Even though they have the commercials if you're hungry? Yeah. Have a Snickers. Snickers. We're not, we haven't hit on yours yet. No, you're we number haven't. one yet. Okay. Nope. nope. All right. Number seven, I always loved these two. I always felt like as a kid I loved these and other kids didn't like them. Whoppers. I hate Whoppers. Yeah, it's see? It's a texture thing. I think some people don't like them, but I loved them. Yeah. That malt ball in the flavor of malt. Mmm. You, you like that good malt? Can I have the flavor of malt, please? You want that good malt? Up in my mouth. <laughs> okay, now this one's kind of cheating, I think. Number six, M&M's. Well, everybody loves M&M's. Right. I don't like regular M&M's. I don't mind them. I know somebody that likes to microwave them. What? Tell me about that. I don't... You don't know about that person? No. Oh, she likes to microwave them and eat them? No, but tell me, what do you do? You put them in a bowl or what? She, she puts it, uh, last time I saw her do it, she had a paper plate. And how does she eat it with a spoon? No, she just picked them up. Oh, because they're nice and warm. Oh, they didn't melt. Yeah, they didn't melt. She didn't, like, put it in there for a long time. Okay. But, yeah. I think this person should seek a help <laughs> in the finest facility. <laughs> I think I know who you're talking about since yeah. you won't say who it is. I, I want to say who it is. Because... This may give it away. You're afraid of this person. <laughs> I'm afraid of the person they're married to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was that person. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid of her as well, but I'm more afraid of the person she's married to. Who, uh, who is it? What? <laughs> you didn't know that? You don't want to tell everyone it's Lynette. <laughs> I thought you were talking about your sister. No. <laughs> No. Lynette heats up M and M's. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Lynette. <laughs> we did a big uh, shout out. I to just her. didn't want to throw out anybody's name. I mean, we well, I mean, it's Lynette. She's a longtime listener. That's true. We have we're, we're basically doing the show in her honor since her birthday was Monday. Oh, okay. And now I know to heat up M and M's. <laughs> I like peanut M and M's, and I tell you what, I love. I love peanut M and M's. Almond M and M's are my favorite. See, I've never had that one, but my peanut ones are my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Oh wait. I had some fun things to do. Here we go. Number five. <laughs> Starburst. Love Starburst. Starburst. Yeah. Yeah. That's Those some good, good shit. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. We're moving right along. 
Number four. Twix. Yeah, I like Twix, I guess. I like the alt. <laughs> the, uh, no, I like the right one and the alt right one. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that joke from a guy on. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, Twix are good. I like yeah. those. Now, this one, the next one, I can do without. Why? Number three. I'll eat it. It's good, but it's Butterfinger. Yeah, I'm not fine about getting in my teeth. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly my problem. Yeah, it gets in my teeth, and then I don't like it. It tastes good, though. It does taste amazing. Have you got yours to yours yet? No. Okay. All right. I think we're getting there, though. Number two. Kit Kats. I do like Kit Kats, but they're not my favorite. Crispity Crunch of Kit Kats. Those are good. Who doesn't like a good Kit Kat? Yeah. Okay. Then let's go to the number one. I, we've got to get it. I hope we get it. And number one. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. They are they are really good. Uh-huh. Not my favorite. Really? So you have something that wasn't even on the list. Nope. Will I be surprised by this? I have no idea. Do you heat them up? No, I don't heat them up. I eat them. What kind exactly. of person heats up? Okay, let's see what the answer is. Sweet tarts. Sweet tarts. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's different kinds of people in the world. Yeah. There's a chocolate person and then a... I like sour candy. Sour candy. Okay. Sour candy is my favorite. Okay. Um, I would be in charge of getting candy for the for the kids for holidays. For, like, uh, the stockings. Yeah. Oldest kid, those sour... Uh, they look like worms. Oh yeah, trolleys. Yes, trolleys. She loved those. Worms. Yeah. And then I had to get chocolate. Oh yeah, chocolate and M&M's for the other one. Yeah. So it just seems like a. Yeah, I love sour candy. Really? Yep, big fan. Now, have you ever had the big? Do you ever the big sweet tarts? They're like, like look like a hockey puck. Yeah, they you, have them now where they're broken, mm-hmm. so you can just break them into fours. Do you remember eight? Or, yeah, you'd have to take the and pack. You suck on it. The package even says break them for opening. Mm-hmm. So you take the package and you hit it against the table. So it would break all into pieces inside the package and you yeah. just eat it that way. What do you think of Smarties? I like Smarties. Smarties? Uh-huh. They're kind of a uh, miniature wish they were sweet tarts. Yeah. I had, My other ones I like is Shock Tarts. Shock, shock tarts. tarts is more of like a – it's like a sweet tart only more like a hard taffy. Hmm. It's okay. really good. What about the sour of them all, lemon heads? I do like lemon heads. I used to like the old lemon heads. I don't like the new lemon heads. The what? new lemon heads is a ball now. Okay. And it's a coating, like a sugar coating around it with a hard center. Mm-hmm. It's good, but I like the old ones where they were shaped like lemons and they were just hard candy. Oh, okay. That's when I was a kid. Yeah. That's what they had, but they don't make them anymore. Do you Have you figured out what, what is Quinn like the best? She really likes M and M's. M and M's. She's a big fan. I don't give her any sour candy. Yeah. One, she can't floss, and two, I don't want that getting stuck in her teeth. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I brush. I make sure I brush her teeth, except on Thursdays. But do you? Um, um, she went to the dentist yesterday. So far, so good. Yeah. So you she, probably don't give her a lot of, but you'll you'll let her. I mean, just this is what I do with my kids. It's Halloween. Go ahead and eat the candy. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. You know? I mean, most of the time, though. But when they get when she gets older, like my kids would try to... You probably did this, too. I know I did. You eat a little bit and you keep it uh-huh. for yourself. Yeah. Well... You take it... You can't too much. We'd have a bag that you had to put in a cabinet mm-hmm. from your Halloween candy. Yeah, but you'd have your own little stash, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. I'd always yeah. take all the sweethearts and put them in my room. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Lindsay would steal. Now, did Lindsay... Yeah, that's right, Lindsay. Did she... What did she like? She's kind of like me. She likes sour, but she oh, also really likes chocolate. Bad. Because she likes both. Because you couldn't trade, I guess. No, we would trade sometimes. Yeah, not all the time. I'm not exactly uh, sharing when it comes to candy. Do you like a? We're not sharing when it comes to food. True. Jerk. I'll share with my baby. Oh, she can have anything wow. she wants. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> um, so- sorry, she. Is more important to me than anybody. So. Oh, really? So surprising by that. So, um, what do you think of this? Uh, oh, jeez. What do you think of Reese's? You're not. That makes sense, though. I love a Reese's. Lot of I put them in the freezer. And meanwhile, Lynette's putting hers in the microwave. You're <laughs> yeah. putting yours in the freezer. I can't figure this out. 
But that's that makes sense. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups is probably one of those from a power ranking that everybody likes. I mean, everybody does, except yeah. for my my uh, nephew. Really? He's allergic to peanuts. Oh. So he can't have it. It's too bad. Yeah. I feel bad for him. Because yeah. peanut butter and chocolate are the best combination ever. Yeah. Which which nephew? Uh, uh, my nephew, uh, Maverick. Maverick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should make fun of him when he gets older. That's what I would do with my nephews. Oh, okay. Um, So that's, that's the power. Go out there and get a lot of candy. I just don't know what it's going to be like for COVID. Who knows? I mean, you're going door to door and you're interacting with people you normally wouldn't. That's bad. Yeah. But you're getting wrapped candy. That can't be bad. And you're already wearing a mask, right? Yep. Except if you're a yoga instructor, she, is there a mask that she would wear? Well, no. Apparently, you don't have to have her age. You don't have to put a mask on them. First off, she wouldn't do it. Mm. I can tell you that right now. That well, I don't, mean, I don't even mean have to. Just if it's safe to do I it. I mean, we, we wash your hands religiously. Yeah. I mean, do you... Hopefully, we can get back to the... What was a lot of fun is they would do uh, from the trunk. Trick yeah, or tr- that's trick what we're or doing. Trunk. Oh, okay. We're going to do that, and then we're going to go around the Sh- Brooks neighborhood. Well, I hope it's I hope it's fun for them. Especially for, for, like, the nine-year-olds. Because well, they're, hoping... getting, they're growing out of it. Yeah. And that's what just sucks about this pandemic. It's all the fun little things you, you can't do as a kid. Yeah, I know. And, I mean, I can't remember the last time I even wore a costume. Was I 12 or – I don't even remember – Around that, t- around nine mm-hmm. is kind of where it yeah. fizzed out mm-hmm. and started watching horror movies. <laughs> right, right. And eating a bag of candy that you had your mom buy from the grocery store. Right, right, right. Yeah. You're like, why am I going to walk around the very yeah. and get some candy? <laughs> I'll just have my mom buy understand. me a bag if that'd be cool. As long as I did my homework. Well, Drew, we've had a lot of fun. We've had a lot of laughs. We have. We've you've learned a lot about art. Yeah. Your expertise. And candy. Fattening things, my expertise, because I'm a big <laughs> fat guy. Yeah. But it's time for us to learn, and we only learn. We've we've never learned in any other way. School, college, we never learned anything there. We only learn from the why dude. I wonder why. I wondered why. Now it's time to learn why. Hmm. Today's question comes from Richard. Richard mm. writes, Dear Why Dude, my name is Richard. Why do some people call me Dick? Oh, I no. I mean Richard, not a dick. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Richard, the name Richard means brave ruler, derived Ooh. from the dramatic elements of R I C K, ruler, mighty, and Rick. hard, brave, hardy. The Normans introduced this name to the Britons and has been a very common name ever since. It was born by three kings of England, including Richard I, the Lionheart, one of the leaders of the Third Crusades in the 12th century. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people like to abbreviate words. Way back in history, people decided to abbreviate the word Richard to Rick. And let's be honest, there are some Ricks and Richard in the past who were jerks. And to cause havoc with some of the Richards who were crappy leaders and just crappy people in in general, they put a hyphen between the R-I-C and the H-A-R-D. Then it became funny to replace Dick with Rick. Instead of Rick Hard, it became Dick Hard. This caused a lot of people to giggle. Giggling is contagious. <laughs> so, Richard, How I know? think you should accept people calling you Dick and be glad that people are not calling you Dick Hard. Now you know. <laughs> I wondered why. I wondered why. Now we know why. That's the why dude exclusively on the week review. That was entertaining. I had no idea. I didn't know any about that. I would like to. I'm going to ask the question. Here, let me scribble it down here real quick. Let's write that down. Dear why dude, I listened to your reply to Richard. Okay, I understand that. <laughs> but why are people calling me Dick? My name is Paul. <laughs> well, Pope Paul the first <laughs> was a real asshole. <laughs> well, they call him a dick. I don't know. Uh, wasn't Paul one of the apostles? Yeah. Wasn't he a dick? 
You know he. You know what he did. He he killed Christians <laughs> before he had his conversion. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, he really was a dick. He's a real ass. <laughs> wow. So that's wow. and now you know. <laughs> now Thanks. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the, Drew just Drew just uh, told us that. So that's really great. <laughs> and now you know. <laughs> now now you know why. Everyone calls Paul a dick. Yeah. And why everybody calls the Drew... I mean, everybody calls Drew a, the Drew. The Drew. Okay, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more of the Halloween special of KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. We'll be right back. Experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. What's... It's me, Jerry Sapphire, for the best Halloween special that you've ever seen. Since the 60s, I've been doing a Halloween special on um, a public access TV. This year, my host, or I'm hosting, a great together with a great metal musician named Rob Zombie. He dresses up like a zombie and then sings. It's weird. He's done some horror movies. I didn't think they were all that great. I've seen them. I fell asleep during some of them. The F word was used way too much. I need to tell him he needs to wash his mouth out before he walks on my show. Because we don't cuss on my show. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, there I go again, breaking one of my own rules. That's me, Jerry Sapphire. Find me on Hulu. I'm going to interview this guy with the long hair. He's got a real nice blonde dame for a wife. She's all right. Maybe I'll get to see her sit next to this weird long haired man <laughs> it's me Jerry, Jerry Sapphire <laughs> join the Jerry Sapphire show on Halloween he's interviewing some weird guy who likes Halloween only on Hulu <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's be honest here. You're listening to your podcast right now. You're having a good laugh. You're having a good time. But you're also on your phone, aren't you? Admit it. You're texting someone who doesn't want to talk to you. Someone's texting you that doesn't. you don't want to talk to. 
You're looking at Facebook. You're saying, did Trump really do that? You're doing things like that. Why don't you take one second and download the KCTK radio app? Go to your app store, type in KCTK. Let me spell that for you. KCTK. Download the app, and all your favorite podcasts are there all the time. Plus, you can listen to live programs like you're probably listening to us right now live. Anyway, you can listen to the show. You listen to it live at 7 p.m. on Thursdays, or you can listen to the repeats every day at 3.30. And lots of, you got John and Heidi in the morning. You have the new program, the Kansas City Morning Show. And, of course, all kinds of fun with Tom Gooley in the afternoon. And you can listen to all that everywhere you are and anywhere you are and every one you are on the KCTK radio app. Download it today. It's free. Okay, welcome back. <gasps> KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I was just looking through my soundboard here, and I did something. Um, so, I found a tape. Oh, okay. When I was um, 21, I did a radio show out of Parkville, Missouri. Mm-hmm. And I found a tape recently, and it says, Comedy That Sucks. <laughs> and it's a comedy bits I did. Yeah. And they were really stupid. And I played them on the past week, next week, and Chris made fun of me. But I found the very first recording of the Droosh. What? No yep. shit. Yep. Are you ready to hear it? Uh, yeah. Shit. It's not very long. <laughs> Could you understand anything that let's no. go through it? Paul, where's the Ninja Turtles? Uncle Paul, where's the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> Love you, Paul. Love you, Paul. Awesome dude. Awesome dude. Cowbunga. Cowbunga. <laughs> Paul, where's the Ninja Turtles? Love you, Paul. Is that awesome really me? dude. Cowbunga. Jesus. Who Christ. else would be? Who else would be talking about? Um, who else would be talking about Ninja Turtles <laughs> and Calabunga? <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Paul, That's... where's the Ninja Turtles? Love you, Paul. I also do Calabunga. Wow. That kid sounds stupid. <laughs> he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was. Wow, that kid just sounds stupid. <laughs> he was. He was really stupid. You can't but even luckily, say Calabunga right. Um, you had only... Okay, you were born in... 88. 88. So, man, you you had only been... You were only about a year and a half old at the <laughs> most. So I really was a dumb kid. You all, you were a dumb kid, and you are a dumb kid. <laughs> so some things never change. Absolutely uh, accurate. But speaking of dumb, if you really want to hear some dumb, here's the special, special, special Halloween, Halloween, Halloween episode of Listen, Listen, Listen. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Will somebody turn the rain off, please? Thank you. Hello there, and welcome to day one of Halloween week! At listen, listen, listen. I am one of your many voices, 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 voices. <clears throat> Please excuse me for a second. Thank you. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why did you make me do that? Oh, where was I? Oh, yes. Voices. <laughs> Curtis 
Elton. And I am going to be taking you. Yeah, you. Me? You. 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 <laughs> Not. To a journey into the unknown. A journey? Into a place beyond belief. Believe me. Won't you please join me on this crazy, spooky, and random adventure? Do not be scared. Ah! Did I scare you? Excellent, Clarice. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Are you ready to come with me? And you be in the world of pure imagination, <laughs> a galaxy of sight and sound. From east to west, and spooky to scary. If you are ready, come closer if you dare. Fabulous. Then let's Fabulous. go. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Which way do I go? <clears throat> Which way will I go? Let's see, is it this way? Oh, is it this way? No, I don't think it's that way either. Is it Either. this way? Ah! Oi, you scared me. Isn't this just fabulous? <laughs> All right, that's a Halloween edition of Listen, Listen, Listen. Fantastic. What did you think? I thought it was fantastic. Did you think it was fantastic, fantastic, fantastic? It's the two and a half Come minute podcast. Me. It seems like an hour long, <laughs> folks. Come with me and you'll be... <laughs> Transported into a world of magic of pure imagination. Yeah. Do you even know what movie that's from? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm very proud of you right now. Hey, let's do um, some fun movie uh, commercial reviews. Fantastic. That's what we're known for. Should I even bring it up? I yeah, will. Yeah, I want you to bring it up because I thought it was funny. What? What you were gonna do today? Okay. What it was. Gonna, what the plan was is that I don't know if people are familiar with this or not. But there is an election coming up on Tuesday. What? I was going to show some of those election commercials, and we were going to review them. But instead of the lighthearted, isn't that silly, why are they doing that, it just pisses me off. <laughs> and they're all from the Republican Senate Committee. Yeah. And they use the same actress. Yeah. And she's a real bitch. <laughs> Barbara Bonley doesn't agree with me. Well, who the hell are you? <laughs> See, I'm getting angry already. Yeah. So... I thought it'd be more fun just to go ahead and um, do some fun Halloween commercials. Fantastic! Now you can imagine what kind of uh, what kind of things are, are are being advertised on Halloween. Candy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, costumes. Uh huh. Um, make sure you get your Geico. Um, Car insurance. Mm -hmm. Get a cell phone. You're right about all those. Yeah, I know. Um, here's sadly here's one I found that I really I liked it. It's Budweiser. Uh oh. Ah, all right. Looks like we're having some fun. No, I need that. Okay, this is a Budweiser commercial. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so what's going on is uh, it's a it's a good time. It's a young young people all dressed up for Halloween. They're partying. They're having a good time. Then we see someone dressed up as Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow, come talk to someone who's dressed up like Cleopatra. Mm. And ladies and gentlemen, she is fine. <laughs> Look at her. Can you tell? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. So Jack Sparrow comes across to start talking to her to get his pirate on. Thanks. Wow, cool costume. Thanks. <laughs> She's digging the Scarecrow. But then the Wizard Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz, because he had a brain, he decided to sit next to her. Okay? Oh, he had a brain, all right. Yeah. Because she's, look, she's looking good. Okay? I'll be right back. Save my seat, boys. She, with somebody else. She stands up and says, save my seat, boys. I have been, I have seen this play out. She will find somebody else. Mm -hmm. ah. 
Gentlemen. Right. There's the twist. What happened, Drew? The guy, it's a, the chair is a, co- is a costume, and, and it's a guy in and, a costume. And she was sitting right there just... Yeah. Oh, I'm an M on camera. I need to watch that. <laughs> yes, a little bit. Fantastic. <laughs> I didn't expect that. The nose, his nose was way up in it, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay? Because he dressed up like a chair. You do. And then they come in with their, oh, by the way, get drunk while you're, while you're doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. you're Thanks. And he's and at the end he's dancing with Cleopatra. The That's cheer, probably his girlfriend. Guy. That's probably the joke. Mm-hmm. What do you think of that one? What I would like you, that what one. Would you rate that one? I give that one a hard nine. I would give her a hard nine, and I would give the commercial. I would also give it a hard nine. I think it's a funny commercial. It's fun. I didn't expect him to be in a chair costume. Yeah, that was unexpected. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um. Let's see what type of commercial. A Dunkin' Donuts commercial, and this is an older one. As Halloween approaches. <clears throat> oh, wow. This off. looks really old. It is old. Is it 80s or 90s? Uh, How old I is it? I think it's 80s. Okay, here we go. As Halloween approaches, you have to prepare Same yourself times. for what might happen. More orange sprinkles. 80s. It's a special time of year, and Dunkin' Donuts is dressing up their donuts for the occasion. And here's the werewolf. So come to Dunkin' Donuts and get into the spirit of Halloween. We'd like some Halloween donuts, please. Oh, of course. Oh, children. <laughs> Hilarious. They were, they were just children. They weren't real monsters. What is the end of that commercial? That's more scary than the commercial. Yeah. Who was that lady? I don't know. Let's, let's do this. What? I don't know. As Halloween approaches, you have to prepare yourself. So what would you give the Dunkin' Donuts commercial? Well, those donuts actually looked really good compared yeah. to getting them now. Now they're frozen. They just heat them As up. Halloween approaches, you have to prepare That's yourself. That's terrible. I know. Lamar's is better. I tell you what, I like that commercial a lot. I'm giving it a 10 because it has... Donuts in it. <laughs> you know what? I will give it also a soft nine. Oh, okay. Because I love donuts. That's probably my favorite pastry. Um, or would, would you even... Would, is a donut considered a pastry? I think so. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I would prefer... I, you know, we talked about candy. Yeah. I'd prefer if people gave me donuts when I went trick or treat. I would love... rather. I'd rather get donuts. Yeah. I have to limit myself on donuts, though. I... Should limit myself on donuts, but clearly I haven't. <laughs> okay, this is an old old one, but this will take you back. This this you're gonna get a glimpse into my childhood. Okay. Okay. Body's heading for Woolworth and your childhood. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look scary. Body's heading for Woolworth and Woolco to get set for Halloween. There's costumes of TV favorites like Wonder Woman and the Hulk. There's popular characters from Star Wars, and there's superheroes like Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, and many more at bare bones prices. Man, you so, guys had some shitty costumes. <laughs> totally. But I had that Superman one. Let's see if we can bring that one back up here. Where is it at? And they had to put Batman on the Batman costume. You cannot figure out. That that's Batman. I hated that. Why put the name on it? Well, here, look at the Darth Vader one. I mean, Darth why Vader, is Darth Vader's face on? Because adults did it. The kids, the kids want a costume to look like Darth Vader. They think it's just fun to put his picture on there. It's not. Let's see what Superman looks I like. I mean, Spider Man at least has. And he, it's not even blue. It's gold. Yeah. What is he? The Shocker. Right. He's the Shocker. That's not Spider Man. Right. And. <laughs> You know the uh, plastic tablecloths? Yeah. That's what that material Are is. Are you fucking serious? No, I am dead oh serious. Oh, my God. And I loved it so very much. <laughs> okay, let's see Superman. Where, do you, where did Superman go? I think he was one, one of the first ones. 
No. Wow, they skipped over Superman. I thought you Batman, had Batman, Superman. There you go. There's Superman. You had that. I did, yeah. Well, that looks more... Where's the sleeves? There are no sleeves. That's why Mom made me wear a coat. Okay, well, that's fair. And it's basically a burlap sack you're wearing, only it's a table... You're basically wearing a tablecloth. Well, it's not even... It had no insulation in it's it. It's not a tablecloth. It's like a plastic bag. Okay, so uh, really, you had no insulation. No, but I had like a t-shirt. On underneath it? And I think cl regular clothes underneath. I'm surprised you didn't put a blue shirt, a long sleeve blue shirt underneath it. I, I was a kid. I was stupid. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you're wearing right now exactly what you should have right. wore in, right. in that costume. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Now I got to go back in time and talk to little ball little paul <laughs> set that kid straight <laughs> set that kid straight um, Listen, if you don't um, want to wear a jacket wear a long sleeve shirt underneath your, <laughs> underneath your stupid. Fucking costumes <laughs> because then you would look more like superman yeah same with batman like what the hell's batman running around without a with a fucking t-shirt right what is he all of a sudden just oh this is my laundry day i have decided i'm gonna wear my my burlap sack and t-shirt <laughs> now you get this at woolworth or wilco woolworth was at the blue ridge mall okay and Woolworth, Woolco, Woolworth was at the Blue Ridge Mall. Woolco was at twenty third and two ninety one, and you can get it, you can get your thing for four dollars and seventeen cents. Jeez. And mom, can we get that? No, it's too expensive. <laughs> oh, <okay>. yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of money back then. Many more at Fair Bones prices, two thirty eight to four seventeen. And their spook stick. If you had ten grand in the Wild West, you were considered rich. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And there they are, and they're having a the time of their lives. Space pops, Halloween's rat oh, candy of every kind, all at the favorite Halloween haunts: Woolworth and Woolco. Because they used to put lead paint on the package, right? When did they stop doing of that? Of what? Of candy. Candy oh, wrappers I, made with lead paint. They never. When did they stop doing not that? With, not with my generation. Okay, well they must have. They must yeah. have stopped doing that before your generation. Um, I just remember seeing that on the Science Channel. So, how would you rate that commercial? <laughs> I give it a flat out one. I don't even. I don't even okay. give it a soft or a hard. It's the, just a flat. So, are you at all happy with what we did with superheroes by the time you came along? Fuck yeah. Our generation to suffer. My mom through made that. me my Batman costume. Uh huh. And it looked awesome. Yeah, my mom even has pictures of it. Would you? Com <coughs> how about compared to this one? Do you think it's better? Well, my my costume. Yeah, <laughs> Are you fucking serious. Yeah, mine was Michael Keaton. Oh, okay. And mine was made with sweatpants and stuff like that, so I'd have to wear a jacket. Boy, you had a much better mom than me, I guess. <laughs> my mom worked hard on that, and I got yeah. a Batman themed belt that I could put on. Shut it up! Awesome. I hate you. <laughs> It was kick-ass. Okay, so that just ruined my life <laughs> and everything. I and I guess we can do one more. I just killed your childhood. Yeah, killed my childhood. I thought everything was cool back then. I should show you the vampire costume my mom did. I, I even like had the widow's peak, and she made me a medallion, and gave me a cape. I had a cape and everything. I had like a, a ruffled dress shirt. Really? Yeah, I looked I awesome. I was Blood either, in the corner. Of my I was mouth. either that guy, that Superman that you saw, or a hobo. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I would have been a hobo permanently after seeing that Superman costume. <laughs> hobo, it is. <laughs> Hell, I might even put on some clown paint just for the fuck of it. <laughs> Can we watch another commercial? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, this is for Empire Carpets. Oh shit! <laughs> this is 2001. What? 2001. Empire Carpets isn't around. It is it in Kansas City? You don't know. If you, know you know by Empire Carpets. Do I? Yes. I, and here's how you're going to know. 588-2300 Empire. Oh, my God. So you know that, right? I remember the radio commercials and the, the commercials I would, probably wasn't listening to right. or watching. They're they're out of Chicago, but then now everyone knows that jingle. And it's because of Is this. Is it even around anymore? Yeah. Because oh, okay. of this guy. Home is haunted by old carpeting. Don't be afraid. This is their spokesman. I think maybe even the owner of Did it. Did Ray Adams steal this from this guy? Yeah. Because Ray he Adams was a did very commercials much, just like this. This guy was a very much of a Ray Adams 
like he owned it or something. Okay. And so if, he's dressed up like Dracula, and he's talking about the monster carpet sale. If you don't know who Ray Adams is, Ray Adams owns Toyota. Back in the 90s, he would put out, in Lee Summit, mm-hmm. he put out a bunch of weird commercials. Yeah. One where he even did the crocodile hunter, and he's tackling Dude. the inflated crocodile. We should talk. We should do that. We should do Colonel yeah. Billy. We oh should, my let's God. do those. That sounds Sometime. great. Another Lo- one of these. And you don't you don't get these as much anymore. Local no. local sports. And that's what made this dude a celebrity in Lee Summit. Uh huh. I mean, the commercials alone. Yep. I, I heard, worked for him. <laughs> I heard it gave uh, his son a, a reason not to do anything for years. Oh, what? Oh, you heard about that too? <laughs> okay. Anyway, back to Empire guy. Gary. I think his name is Gary Empire. Empire is having a monster. Co- that's kind of a cool costume he's wearing, right? I mean, it's a great little... Did he talk like that? Did he actually no, have an accent? No, he okay. was actually That's doing That's fantastic. It. His boar is Karloff. Carpet sale with savings to die for. Okay, it's like Stan Lee's this. brother. Yeah, but here's what bugs me about it. Let's Let me go back here for a second. I'm sure that guy's passed by now. Yeah. Look at the great costume. He Actually, Dude, you know, he looks like Grandpa from the Munsters. Yeah. Dude, take your glasses off and just do it without your glasses. He... Probably can't read the teleprompter. You just gotta memorize the lines and take it off. You know what I mean? A real actor would memorize it. He, because Dracula didn't have glasses like that. No, but I mean, no, nah, Grandpa from Munsters didn't either. So. Yeah. <laughs> Say fifty percent off all the latest I styles and colors. It's a carpet. Stanley. I understand he's not real. Okay, I understand that. But you've already gone to that much trouble. You take have the, the glasses accent, off. You got, you got the, the great costume. You got the costume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll bring samples to your home and install next day with no payments till 2003. Save 50% no, on Empire's no, monster carpet no, sale. It's a sale you can sink your teeth into. <laughs> I to 300 Empire. Today. Yeah, I think they're called Empire Today. Yeah, today. Now. So what would you give that one? You know, that was nostalgic, so I'll give it a, a soft six. That's nice of you. Yeah. I'll I'll get it done, but I'm not thrilled about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Since you're it's right a, here, I'll a, go ahead and do it. It's a pity fuck. <laughs> okay. All right. That's nice. All right. That's our commercial review for Halloween. I hope that gets you in the spirit. Of pity fucking. <laughs> I, if anyone knows of this, an uh, old Superman Wilco costume that can fit a 6'4 <laughs> person. Let me know, because I'm buying it. I'll, I'll make you one with some tablecloth, and, <laughs> and, and I'll get you a mask. Watercolors. And watercolors. There you go. There's your, f- there's your <laughs> fucking costume. You're really angry about this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, because you guys were deprived, okay? Yeah. I feel like I was privileged enough to get to have a... Fu- I'm sure there's kids out there that didn't get a costume like I did. Mm-hmm. My mom put some effort into it. And Mammy could have at least put some effort into it. She had four dumb boys. I mean, you all were idiots. But, I mean, yeah. at the same time, at least put make them wear a long sleeve shirt under the motherfucker. I know, but if you got four kids, it'd be hard. I mean, all you gotta do is give them a blue shirt. How hard is that? Is that difficult to find yes. in that time period? Really? They okay. didn't have five dollars to buy the shirt. They okay, only had four four right. seventeen for the costume. <laughs> what about Target? Was that, was that around? It was around. There was no Target. What? Walmart wasn't around either. No wow. Walmart. Okay. Wilco and Wool, Wool, Woolworths. <laughs> Man, you guys, yeah, had it hard. We sure did. <laughs> Real hard. We're we're speaking of having it hard. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back. With more KCTK Radio's week review with Paul and Drew and Jack, who's not here. We'll be right back.
join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. Guys, want to get your wife or girlfriend a gift that will change her life? Ladies, how would you like to have great eyebrows, luscious lips, an eyeliner that stays put, and makeup that doesn't go anywhere? How would you like to go all day looking like your makeup was just applied? If you said yes to any of those things, then the answer is permanent makeup. This simple and easy procedure is quick, painless, and the results are outstanding. No more reapplying and no more smudging of your makeup. And in our area, Natural Image Salon in Lee Summit is the only place to perform your your permanent cosmetic procedure. The professionals at Natural Image Salon and Lee Summit are your answer to waking up every morning with perfect makeup and the great feeling of knowing whether you're swimming, working out, or just waking up, you will always look beautiful. Call Natural Image Permanent Cosmetic Salon at 816-525-9971. 816-525-9971 for a free consultation. Gift certificates are also available. Tell them you heard this ad and get $25 off any procedure. Natural Image, your investment in a beautiful you. This is Drew from KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. Listen to the show every weekday at 3.30 p.m. and live show Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. Right here on KCTK Radio, personality-driven radio. Do you see that doggy in the shelter? Hi, I'm Buddy, the adorable puppy you adopted from the Humane Society. Meow. I'm Whiskers, a fluffy kitty, just waiting for someone to love me. When you adopt a pet, we hope your new furry friend will become a cherished member of your family. And as Buddy and Whiskers will tell you, the key to success is following the rules to love by. Well, that's right. Please give me food, water, and exercise every day. To stay healthy, I need the same kind of things you need. Talk to me. I like hearing your voice. You're my best friend. Please don't stay mad at me or lock me up as punishment. Remember, I'm probably going to live 10 to 15 years, so take care of me when I get old. One day you'll need someone to take care of you, too. A message from the Montgomery County Humane Society. Visit www.mchumane.org for the complete rules to love by. Be your best friend for life. This is Hartzell from the KC Morning Show. Listen every weekday, 9 a.m., right here on KCTK Radio, personality-driven radio. Everything's running smoothly. Okay, welcome back to the big Halloween special of KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew since Halloween's in the... Ah, bit my tongue. Halloween is the only thing that's going on in the next week. The <laughs> next week? There's nothing going on like next Tuesday. Oh, no. Yeah. We're living in denial. How do you think I'm going to be next week? Probably pissed off. Do you think so? Uh-huh. There's a guy that came out and said he thinks Trump will win. And there's like Who's some, this guy? He's some pollster. It was some news thing. I just read the child and all of it. I'm just fucking with you. I don't know if it's, <laughs> if it's, if it's real or not. I didn't read it. I don't care. It, I'll be pissed off at one aspect. I can tell you right now. Some, there's going to be some race I'm going to be pissed off about. I have a feeling that things aren't going to go the way a lot of people think it's going to go. Wow. Can we quote you on that one? That's very specific. No, I, I feel <laughs> like I feel like if it did go the way you want it to, mm-hmm. I feel like there's going to be consequences to that. And there's going to be some bullshit that we're going to all have to go through after that. <sighs> we were having a fun show. <laughs> And, and Drew ruined it. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go to the news of the Drewish. That would cheer me up. <laughs> Maybe not. There's a woman that was missing in Zion National Park for 10 days. Good. She Who was, was found. It? Oh, they found her? They found her. She says she drank from a stream. Where is Zion National Park? Fuck if I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's in California. I don't fucking California know. A. Okay. California A. Anyway, this woman claims she was stuck. She was she's been missing this whole time. Okay, right, and she got lost inside this national park. Okay, it happens. Right, she claims that she was able to um, drink water from a stream. Okay, and able to survive that way. Okay, 
But the funny part is, is that from what investigators have found, if she had drank from this stream, she would have died from uh, getting sick. Whoa. What the fuck is that that you just put on the screen? It's my story. I'm talking about next. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That was Stay fun. focused on your story. Wow. Okay. Um. Anyway, so they end up finding her, right? Right. And they can't figure out how she didn't die from drinking this stream. What? What? What would make her die? Was there toxic waste in it or something? So uh, I've learned this in Boy Scouts. If you do not purify a water from a stream, river, whatever it might be. There are bacteria inside of it that mm-hmm. can make you sick. It'll give you the runs, and you'll basically right. shit yourself to death. Yeah, but if you're mm-hmm. if you're um, dying of thirst, you got you would have to drink it, right? Right. But so. I don't know. She. I don't know how they were able to figure it out. But they know she's lying. Oh, 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 oh. That's how they figured this okay. out. They also figured out there's no way she was only a mile from the trail. Hmm. She was only a mile from the trail. Mm-hmm. And you were lost for 10 days. The fuck were you doing? And when they found her, she said she hit her head. She mm-hmm. doesn't have a head wound. So she went off with some dude. That's what or happened. she just, or a woman. Or she was going to probably commit suicide. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know this chick's story. Okay. All I know is, is that this woman was missing. She's found. Mm-hmm. And it's pure poppy, uh, poppycock. Hmm. There's some mischievous things going on here. Well, I mean, you're... You are the expert at this. You, you, you cover these stories for yeah. years on this program. Absolutely, decades. And so, really. what would be your best guess? Um, I think that she was fucking a ranger. Mm-hmm. Okay, a ranger <laughs> or Yogi Bear. I don't know. I don't know her life. I, don't I know, know you don't know, but don't you're going to speculate. I am. I'm speculating. She was That's doing something. She was doing something she wasn't supposed I to think, be with someone. She I wasn't think that she to. actually wasn't. In the national park, right? Okay. I think she was probably shacked up somewhere mm-hmm. in a hotel, and was like, "Oh fuck, my my family's gonna know I'm having an affair." Yes. So I'm gonna go get lost in the national park and get found. Yes, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Yep. How old is this person? Forty. Married person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her daughter even came out on like the news and was looking for her, upset. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, this would happen. Yeah, this is exactly what happened. She doesn't want to. Let her daughter know the truth. Right. That uh, I, I've been having an affair on your dad. Yeah. Sorry, baby. And hopefully it's only that. Yeah, hopefully it's only that. Or hopefully she she's on, not a Or a she went on a coke binge. I don't know. Could be a coke binge. Could be a coke binge. Um, There's something. Something was. She was somewhere. It was booze or something. Yeah. She, maybe she went to, if it's in California, Napa Valley. Mm-hmm. And got wasted on some wine. I was like, fuck. Yeah. But she was also <laughs> with. That's not enough. She has to be with someone she wasn't supposed to be with. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking so. Her well, parents are even helping her cover this up. Well, I'm glad she's safe and sound now. Yeah. Now we can get to the bottom of things. Yeah. And I think Let's get Perry Mason up on this fucking stand. I think it's really strange that that's your story. Why? It just seems so insignificant. It's so scary. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. So she was... At, let's change a little bit. She was at trick-or-treating, <laughs> and she went to the National Forest. She saw that she was wearing a Superman from the 70s <laughs> costume, costume and was like, I need to jump off a fucking bridge yeah. because this costume sucks yeah. so bad. So bad and so hard. I wanted to be Wonder Woman. Right, and then The she, other trash bag co- costume. And then she can't admit that she had such a terrible costume. And she went on a, on a candy binge uh-huh. along with some schnapps. Some snobs. She had some snobs, maybe hooked up with Scarecrow mm-hmm. and uh, Jack Sparrow. In a chair. In a chair. And then was like, you know, mm-hmm. I don't want to go home. I'm going to act like I'm lost. Yeah. Okay. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> That's it. Now, this is an interesting Halloween story for you. Fuck. Okay. Cops called for fake massacre. <laughs> what Jesus. a bloody mess. You can look at the fo- uh, If you're on Facebook or YouTube, you can see. Oh, my God. It Okay, it's a house. There's blood everywhere. I wonder how they pull it off. There is someone. It looks like a body on top of it a It looks roof. like somebody got their head smashed in. Uh, someone smashed real. in there, the head. Well, look, look at this one here. The body bag, and then uh, there's another one. I mean, that looks like a real person, doesn't that? Yeah. What do you think that is in that? 
in that uh, wheelbarrow? Uh, those are hands and feet. Oh my god. <laughs> So anyway, folks, a morbid, bloody, and frightful Halloween display at a Texas man's home is eliciting more than gas from his neighbors getting police involved. Artist Stephen Artist, uh huh, Stephen Novak turned the front yard of his Dallas residence into a gory scene straight out of a horror movie, and several of them using dummies, props, and more than twenty gallons of fake blood. Jesus. Okay, so there's a man. Killed by chainsaw, another killed by safety drop on his head, one more with a knife to the skull, an apparent dead body in a bag, and a wheelbarrow full of severed limbs. <laughs> so Steve really went This all guy out. went crazy and people keep calling the cops on him because they're like, I don't understand this is a massacre. <laughs> please come help. And he came twice when the police showed up and the officers told him they had to check it out because they received calls, <laughs> but they thought it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> the artist says the only major issue with the display is the rain keeps washing away the fake blood. Ah, uh, it happens. Yeah. You know, when you I, kill people, so, sometimes it, the rain will flash some, away the blood. Some, sometimes it's a little frustrating. You want to put on a great show. Yeah. And then the fucking rain's got to wash yeah. it away. It's ridiculous. Would you ever do anything like at your house? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> But you want to know why? I don't. I don't have enough. I don't. I don't, I don't care enough to do something <laughs> like that. You know what I do? I carve fucking pumpkins. There it is. There's you, your pumpkin. Did you carve a pumpkin? I this did year? carve a pumpkin this did year. Did you have you, your little daughter help you with it? No. She painted hers. Well, I mean, you did it together, right? Like, yeah, I tried you did to. Did one? She did. I one. I use carving tools. I understand you didn't give the kid knife. I'm yeah. just saying. Did you make it? Oh my god. <laughs> Here, get that in the camera. Okay. Jesus H. Pretty good, isn't it? No, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. It came out good, I, man. But I mean, did you do as a family? Hey, let's do yeah, carving wife, some pumpkins. Well, my wife gutted this one, and I was just like, eh, I'll just, I'll go ahead and cut it. <laughs> I hated doing that with my kids. Oh yeah, she didn't, she didn't really like how it felt in her hands. It's disgusting. Is why? I, I always like to string through it and get all the pumpkin seeds out, and then I roast them. Mm-hmm. But I didn't Gross. do that this year. You don't like pumpkin seeds? No. God, they're awesome. No. Some salt. Roast. One of my kids. One of my kids made a pumpkin and called it Sally the Girl, Sally the Pumpkin. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? Yeah. And then got mad when it was on the porch forever, rotting away, and had to throw it away. <laughs> you threw away Sally the Girl, Sally the Pumpkin. It's like it's a dead pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. <laughs> it's part of the name that you gave, gave it. Actually, it's dead. Yeah, Sally the Girl, Sally the Pumpkin. I think it came out pretty good. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Let me see Quinn's. Do you got Quinn's no. in there? Qu uh, Quinn's, we had to stop because she tried to eat the paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do about yeah, it? Yeah, what are you going to do? So, it sounds like you got an exciting... I can't, we, we can't wait till next week to... Uh, well, we're going to have to wait. We can't, <sighs> but we're going to have to uh, wait to hear about your exciting, exciting Halloween. Let's hear about yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I do something on Halloween where I need a costume, yeah. Look right there. See there, right by that ball. Yeah. On the thing behind there, you don't see it. Yeah, I see it. What? It's a Superman costume. No, all in the back. Oh. What is that? Oh, that's a uh, Lavoda Chiefs jersey. No, that's a cowboy hat. Oh, you're just gonna put on a cowboy. I'm put hat? on a cowboy hat. <laughs> you fucking serious? That's gonna be my costume. That's so lame. And they're gonna say, "What are you?" I'm gonna say, "I'm Cowboy Paul." <laughs> How are you? I'm a cowboy guy. What about what about putting on like a, a mask and be like, "I'm the Lone Ranger that lives in the suburbs." Because <laughs> like I got glasses. <laughs> okay. I'm the Lone Ranger who became domesticated. <laughs> I'm just cowboy guy. How you're do you know? I'm wearing a cowboy hat. That's how you know. You're a dick. Why? <laughs> You're just a dick. I can't wear a Superman shirt my whole life. Yes, you can. Okay. I I'll plan on wearing a bat suit when I'm dead. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wear my Superman shirt, and then, and only then, I'm gonna wear a cowboy hat. And this is gonna look cool. I can tell you right now, there's one guy in particular that would agree with me on that statement of wearing a bat suit to death. Yeah, but not if you want to just go out and drink. I want to go out and fight crime. But I'll get up getting hit by a car. <laughs> wow. Hey, thanks for joining <laughs> us, folks. KCTK Radio's Week Review with... That's right. 
Paul and Drew. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time, folks. Produced by Paul Lavoda. If you want more information about this content, then you have some real weirdness going on. You can always check out KCTK Radio on Facebook. Listen to live programs at kctkradio.com. Yes, and that is on the World Wide Web. Thank you.